no child of mine. You're alive to Hi, indeed, it has been a wonderful day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I'm here to testify of the awesome goodness of Almighty God from ever since I can remember myself as a teen you know um, committing my life to the Lord God has been good God has been faithful God has been there um, if I sit here and tell you that I have not made mistakes the journey has not been rough I would be lying but what I can say is that God has been a friend unfailing I could sit here today and tell you of so many things that the Lord has done but I you know I have a limited time so I'm just gonna point out two of them to you and this two is surrounded by illness so back in 2014 Okay, after the birth of my son, I started developing shortness of breath and other heart-related symptoms. Only at that time I didn't know it was the heart, right? The long and short of it, I was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy. That is when the heart muscle doesn't, well, let me give it a correct term, postpartum cardiomyopathy. So this usually occurs a couple months before or a couple months after the delivery of a child. And so it, in my case, it happens a couple months after I delivered my baby back in 2014. The long and short of it, guys, is that in 2014, the doctors told me I had the situation was so bad. I had one foot in heaven and one on earth. Okay, the, the average heart, I am told, is supposed to pump the blood between 65 to 70, 70, 80, there about percent. Mine at the time was pumping the blood. Remember, pumping the blood to my entire body, brain, other organs. 18 no sorry 20 percent at that time 20 percent and so that's why the doctor said i had one foot on earth and one in heaven but thanks be to god that god sent me to the right doctor that was willing to help and he said you know what from there is life there is hope and so i'm gonna help you and through prayer and modern medicine Thanks be to God, I came back around, you know, almost good as new, 2016, 2017, everything was good. I was my usual self and I was praising the Lord and, and everything was dandy. But you see, when God is in the midst, the adversary always has to present himself. And so back in 2015, the Lord in 2014 gave me some word. You know, he said, I, you shall not die, but live to declare the word of God. And I stood on that word. And at the time, my life was a bit messy. You know, I wasn't serving God the way I should. And I said, God, when I, was, when I looked in the face of death and I saw that I, I, I could have, you know, gone leave my children at any time, I said, God, I am not worthy. You know, but if thou would spear me, then I would serve you. And I made well to that promise. I recommitted my life to the Lord in 2016. And I, like I said, things was good. I got married and everything was going good. <laughs> in 2019, the adversary, the liar, the deceiver, the devil came about to tell me that, look, you shall surely die. And so I started to feel sick again. But this time I wasn't thinking it was my heart, you know, because I had already claimed my healing. I had such great faith. I wasn't thinking nothing along the lines of heart problem. I, I was walking around in power, in miracle, claiming my healing and everything. 
the long and short of the story is the heart had was in failure once more in 2019 when i went to do the echocardiogram the the technician said oh my god did anybody ever told you that you have an enlarged heart i said yes in 2014 but i've been on medication and as far as i know you know the situation is under control she said well it is back <sighs> of course right i sighed deeply and i said oh my god i said okay how bad is it and she said it's now at 18 percent people of god i'm not telling you any lie all the perks and all the faith I had back then is like it went right down to the ground. I said, God, I started to talk to God. I said, God, seriously, you're going to let the devil do this to me? After you brought me out, you gave me a testimony, I've been testifying. Father God, you can't allow the devil to shame me. But somewhere deep down in me, I, I, I kind of wanted to give up. I said, God, well, this is it. You gave me. You know five years to turn my life around and i'm thankful this is it and saints of god as i stood as i sat there in that room the holy spirit started to speak to me again and he said to tell that old dragon tell that adversary that he did not give you life so he cannot take it and further tell him that if your life is hidden in Christ, he cannot take it. You lay down. At this point, I started to say, no, God, that is not something for me to say. That is something Jesus said when he was on earth. The Holy Spirit come back with another word. Trust me. All of these words just came just like that. And the Holy Spirit said to me, the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead be in you you have the authority to tell him that and since oh God I got up out of that place with a new attitude and I said I'm going to the hospital I shall not die but I shall live and I went to the hospital and there I am today basking mighty God the recovery the heart look at this look at how God works people the heart got worse the second time around this is the god that i serve he's a god of the impossibility he's a god when things seem hopeless the heart got worse but the second time around my recovery was faster in in like about two months the heart improved by 50% from where it was it jumped from 18 to 35 the doctor literally said I could kiss you at this improvements within two months the first time around it took me over a year to get to that point and the last time I went checking you know it is at 42% and I am believing God for my next visit that it will top 50 and over because I'm feeling great I claim my healing and as a child of God I know that at some point we will go but as a child of God it is God that determines my end God bless you thanks for listening I hope this testimony would have been of some encouragement to somebody that is ailing and that certain diagnosis is not a death sentence but is an opportunity you know for us to delve in our faith and have much faith in god and trust that he is able to deliver us god bless you sometimes you got to encourage yourself Sometimes you gotta speak victory into the test And no matter how it feels Speak the word and you will be healed Speak over yourself, encourage
put yourself in the Lord. Oh, sometimes you gotta encourage yourself. And sometimes you gotta speak victory during the test and no matter how you feel speak the word and you will be healed speak over yourself encourage yourself in the lord hallelujah that's my word for today Speak over yourself, encourage yourself in the Lord. Bye.